Good morning, good morning, and welcome to our daily devotion for Wednesday, March 9th. We are so glad you're here with us again this morning as we continue to look at the one another's of Scripture. Today, we're going to look at caring for one another. That's right, caring for one another. It kind of piggybacks on yesterday serving one another, but it just piggybacks. It's a different thing, and we're going to look at it this morning. We're going to start with a reading from Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse 29. But he desired to justify himself, and he asked Jesus, So who is my neighbor? And Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he sent him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which one of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among robbers? simple, the one who cared. We're called to care for one another. I think one of the most painful words a kid will hear when they are young is when they say something to a parent or teacher or somebody else that they look up to, when they share something and, and the person says back, I don't care. Either with our words or with our actions, Saying we don't care really hurts. But the, the call, this one another, is don't, don't care. The, the call is care for one another. Well, how do we care for one another? Once again, it kind of takes a little bit of that servant heart we talked about yesterday. But it also includes taking time to listen, to be there. How do we care for one another? Well, we might care for a small child by taking time to color with them. Or maybe we see they drop something and they're very agitated that they dropped a cup or a bottle or their plug or something like that. And we bend over and we pick it up. That's caring. We know somebody's shut in or sick and we take time to write them a card. That's caring. You know, Sonia and, and myself, and, and to be really honest, Nathan, have been blessed by your caring over this past year. Cards, words, phone calls, all asking how Nathan's doing, all caring, showing us that whatever's happening in our lives, we're not alone. With all the brokenness, with all the sickness, with all the trials and tragedies, we're not alone. You see, caring for one another really shows that love really clearly. And it's not just the people we like we're called to care for, we're called to care for everybody. How do we care? Well, by getting outside of ourselves and looking out for other people. By paying attention when we see somebody that seems to be hurting. You see, one of the points of caring is to be Jesus with that person. To bring the love and power and compassion of Jesus so, so that a person who's dealing with brokenness, so the person who's dealing with the, the nastiness of the sinful world, can experience the peace that comes from somebody caring. We have a really cool ministry at our congregation, Stephen Ministry, which is a caring ministry. It is a ministry where, where trained Stephen ministers are paired to give care to people who are going through a tough time in their lives. But these days, that description can, can apply to most of us, can it? We all can use caring. We all need to care. 
And the really cool thing about Jesus' call to us to care for one another is that we are, as we give care to those around us, we receive care in return. We are called to be a caring community. Not necessarily caring what the world thinks, but being caring towards one another and walking with them through the storms of their life so they can experience the peace that comes from knowing Jesus Christ and the hope that comes from his believers showing his care and compassion to the world around us. Look for somebody to care for today. Pretty sure you'll be glad you did. Let's close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your Son to come into the brokenness of our sinful lives and to be with us and to care. We would ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can have that same heart for the world around us, that through us they may know how much you care for them. In your Son's name we pray. Amen. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.